All right, we are at 6.6 .6 volts. So let's leave this thing on overnight and see what it looks like. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. My name is Dale and uh, my channel is all about helping you guys with uh, repairs, doing product reviews, that kind of thing. Today, I'm actually reviewing a real cheap or inexpensive battery charger. I needed one real quick to charge this battery, so I ordered one off of Amazon. I was a little skeptical about it, but I think it's actually going to surprise me. I was actually thinking that this battery was a lost cause. It's not that old, but it was down at under six volts. So I was thinking it's just too far gone. But I wanted to throw a charger on it real quick, see if I could recover it. And that's one of the reasons why I picked this one. This battery charger is, it was inexpensive, but it had three modes I was interested in. First of all, charging your battery. Second of all, maintaining it. And third, it has a repair feature, which does like a little pulse repair. So I set it on that and thought, let's see what happens. So after I put this charger on last night, I don't know, it was on for like an hour, not long enough. And I tested it, it was at that 6.6 .6 volts. Not great. Checked it an hour later, hadn't changed much. I didn't have much hope. So I thought, well, I'll leave it on the uh, repair mode overnight, come back in the morning and check to see how it looks. Now it's been on the repair mode here for about 12 hours. Initially, I was a little confused by the flashing battery indicator there because all the levels are flashing 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100%. I was thinking, does it think that it's fully charged? I don't think it does. I think as long as you have it on the repair mode, it's continuing to charge. And here, if we take it off the repair mode, and now it's just charging, the uh, top of the battery there is flashing 100%, but it's still charging. It tells us it's at 0.8 amps, 15 degrees Celsius, and 14.5 volts. So I think we're in luck, we're still charging. So let's take it off our charger here. It's my little voltmeter. Try to do this with one hand. So I am now getting a reading of 11.3, so we are almost there. Perhaps we'll let it charge a little longer. It's uh, flashing up there at the 100% still. 16 degrees Celsius. 14.4 volts. So let's leave it on here a while longer. And we're back. So I took this off the charger uh, yesterday and actually tried it in my Project 92 rebuild. It was about 12 volts. It wouldn't quite start it. It was still a little bit too low. So I went ahead and left it on the uh, charger, on the uh, repair mode overnight for another night. And now with it on the charger, pop this guy on real quick. It's giving me a reading of, yeah, boy, it's uh, jumping around 14 to 16 volts. So that's what we wanted on this charger. So uh, let me take it off the charger and see where we're at with that. Okay, now off the charger, 13.2. So that looks pretty darn good. So let's try dropping the battery into a Project Fungus here and see if it'll start it up. So we got it hooked up. The uh, initial reading after I hooked it up was 13.0 volts. So I went ahead and turned on the headlights for about 30 seconds just to get rid of the surface charge. Let's see where we're at now. So we are at 12.9, uh, so that's pretty darn good. This uh, just might work. Let's uh, try to start it up. All right, cool. 
Cool, so that actually started Project Fungus, where I was thinking that battery was just beyond, it was gone, it was dead. And this little guy, uh, it actually resurrected it. So for you know around $25 on Amazon, I had to leave it on the uh, repair mode for a couple days actually but it resurrected it. Uh, I'll be sure to link this in the description below and it, yeah, it seems to work. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my next video right up here. Have a good day.